So you're in detention. That's all right, because today we're going to be showing you where the Zuri is for January 19, to, uh, 18, 2019. It's 19, 2018 or 9, 18, 2019. I don't know what year it is. It's still not going to stick for quite a while. But welcome to the video. We're going to show you where the Zuri is. You can find him here in his regular location on the planet Io, which is going to be in the giant scar. Make your way over here, and there's a big cave that you go into. A bunch of people in here are ready, and you can go ahead and see what the Zuri has on sale for you guys today. Overall, not a ton of incredible items for you guys today except for the fact that they're all incredible just kidding <laughs> the vigilance wing five burst uh, pulse rifle not a lot of people use it as much as they used to because of the different nerfs and patches and new weapons and stuff orpheus rigs pretty much the best um exotic you can have for the tether class on the warlock because it basically allows you to get infinite tethers you got the halifar heart basically faster uh, melees fa melee abilities faster uh, grenades when you have your full super full pretty much my favorite titan exotic right now and then finally verdi's brow which uh, energy weapon kills recharge your grenades faster and you can keep getting grenades really fast so a lot of really good exotics here today i'm going to go through their different roles and go more specifically about them uh right now so first off vigilance wing is a five burst uh, weapon the only five bursts in the game there's a couple four bursts a bunch of three bursts some two bursts but this weapon is the only five burst in the game, and when a nearby allies kill you, gain health, regeneration, increased movement speed. Kind of similar to the way Crimson works, except for it's when an ally dies instead of you getting a kill. And on top of that, when you're the last member of your fire time team, you also get improved weapon performance, incre increased recovery, and uh, just, just overall, this weapon works a lot better. As far as this catalyst go, this catalyst actually makes it so it's fully automatic. So you can just hold the trigger down and it will keep firing. In my opinion, this is not a boon to the weapon, but it, the catalyst exists. Do some crucible and you can get this one to drop randomly. A couple of different skins on it that make it look really, really dope. But um, other than that, there's really not much more to say about it. Next up, Orpheus Riggs basically provides ability energy for each member tethered with the deadfall anchors and Mobius Quivers have more shots. So basically describing two different ones, one for the Trapper class and one for the Mobius Quiver side. Basically, uh, the higher value targets and the more targets that you tether, the more super energy you get back. And you can continually get your super back every single time you shoot this out. And regardless of how many guys you actually tether with this, you're getting a little energy back, making this hella worth it if you're using the tether classes. This is a very big PvE exotic that I highly recommend you get if you do not have one. As far as the roll goes, Having better uh, dexterity for hand cannons and uh, fusion rifles, really good for the Telesto and hand cannons if you're using them. And then lastly, special ammo on kill is also really nice. Pretty much the best thing you can get for legs in this last column. You know what? Since I don't actually have a good Orpheus Riggs, I'm going to buy this because I really, I really need a good one because... The one I have is, is Primary Ammo Finder and Traction, and I'm like, hell yeah, let's get something better. Moving on to the Titan Exotic, the thing that I actually have, uh, well, not equipped right now, but I have on my Titan almost all the time. Hallowfire Heart, pretty much my number one exotic for the Titan because you get your melee so fast, you can keep hammer striking enemies all the time, you get your nades at a ridiculous speed, and you can just keep throwing grenades, and I love thermite grenades, and I always save my super for specific encounters with a lot of enemies, and if my teammates have Orpheus rigs and tons of tethers, I get my super back all the time. I get tons of regeneration. It's amazing. Basically, improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities, which in my experience has only been the melee and the grenade. It does not affect your shield for some reason, and it greatly improves the recharge rate while your super is charged. So overall improves the rate, but while you are charged, it goes twice as fast. I've measured it. It is literally twice as fast. As far as everything else goes, Unflinching Kinetic Aim and the uh, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim are pretty decent. I keep mentioning Fusion Rifle because Telesto is so powerful. And then finally, Special Ammo Finder in this last column, again, is the best thing you can have in this column. This is, again, a very good uh, uh, version of this uh, exotic, and I, I'm, I'm wondering whether or not I actually have a decent one myself. Uh, yeah, again, I have <laughs> Primary Ammo Finder, so I've totally found a good replacement for the one that I have. So... Definitely getting this one as well. <laughs> Next up, we have the Verity's Brow Warlock Exotic from Warmind. Uh, energy weapon kills boost the grenade uh, recharge rate for you and nearby allies. Notice it says near and nearby allies. That's actually pretty amazing. So if you're using a lot of energy weapons, um, perhaps, uh, for example, Lunas, or you're using the new Kindled Orchid or whatnot, this could be a very good exotic for just giving you lots of grenades. However, uh, lots of grenades isn't as awesome as, you know, getting super back faster, like um, Diahamkara, or not Diahamkara's Skull. Uh, for example, we're getting the better supers with the Geomag boots or the Luna Faction boots. So there's a lot of exotics that are better than this, but this one is just really nice to have. Uh, outside of that, uh, the fusion rifle targeting and hand cannon targeting work really, really well. Um, with this thing, I would have preferred if this was super energy on grenade kills. That would have been a better synergy here. 
Um, but after that, machine gun and sniper reserves are awesome for either mode. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the Zer. Make sure you pick up your five of swords for easier nightfalls and higher scoring nightfalls in case you wanted to get some of those scoring powerful engrams. And then finally, the faded engram guaranteeing you exotic you've never had before that is not from Forsaken or Black Armory. Basically, anything from before, you can get yourself one from here. Anyways, that's pretty much the Zer for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. I'd hopefully be able to answer that uh, before the reset actually happens and the Zer goes away. But yeah, that's pretty much the video for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Midnight Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye!